Guys, 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 guys. That's Niragongo right there. That's Niragongo. Niragongo volcano. Abibi, come to Goba. I have dedicated my life to change the narratives that the mainstream media have been portraying. Africa is the only place where you see jungle, you also see people killing each other, you only see dead people all around. Guys, that's about to change right now and that can only happen if you subscribe to this channel. Consider giving this video a big thumbs up. Next time you get a tip of someone telling you, let's go to Congo, don't hesitate, just come. Because Goma has got so much to offer, you will be blown away. This city has been struck twice by a volcano. This city has been at war for decades, but still stand up and people are really coming together. Oh my goodness. Goma, Congolese people just need peace. Please guys, please advocate for the Congo to have peace forever. And you will see how the humanity here will continue to prosper again right here in the Congo. This channel right here is about to change your mind and put the positives right in that Madula Blancata as they say in South Africa. That mind of yours is about to change right now. The way you see Goma or the way you see Congo or the way you see Africa is about to change right here. So consider subscribing and let's see more of the Goma. Many people when they want to visit Goma they they are told uh, Goma is dangerous, Goma is not so good to go to. Goma is, uh, you know, it's just, just don't go. Because I've heard a lot of stories about Goma. Even myself when I was in South Africa, I was scared to come to Goma. But even when I was in Bukavu, because we read so much of international news. Man, that's another thing. That's a story for another day. But do yourself a favor. Don't be scared to come to Goma. From uh, the volcano, you're going to enjoy the Masisi area. You're going to enjoy the fromage from Masisi. Here in Goma, you're going to enjoy a lot of bananas. You're going to enjoy the warm welcome of the locals right here in the Democratic Republic of Congo and in Goma. giving this video a like guys give it a like and also subscribe to the channel if this is your very first time my name is Imani Nigaze for perfect Africa I am here to show you the Africa the mainstream media doesn't want to show you at all look at this amazing sunset going up to that side you are going to Bukavu over there and if you continue you will then have a beautiful river, which is Ruzizi. I made a video about that as well. Uh, if you have not seen it, you guys, just do yourself a favor and go and check it out. About 60, 120 kilometers to Uvira, and you get another lake bigger than this. <laughs> guys, Diaz is so blessed. Diaz is so beautiful. You just want to do yourself a favor and come to Bukavu, come to Goma. From here, I'm going to let you know, guys, where I'm going to take you next. Just in a way of discovering the DRC that really people don't see. It saddened me so much when, you know, you look for something that you, you know, if you like traveling and you look for something that you want to visit, you want to go to DRC, something positive is really, really hard to find. Whether on the news, whether on the internet, everywhere, newspapers, you never get anything positive. So I ran away 15 years ago, I was in South Africa. When I think about how I see DRC in the internet or in the news, so I feel like I need to come back home and try to, you know, dig up the reality of on the ground and show it to you guys. That's the reason why I'm here. DRC is, cannot just only be defined by war and, you know, problems and hunger and everything. But DRC is also beautiful, the DRC that nobody wants to show you. This is Serena Hotel, as I told you, from the inside, you guys. It's just too amazing here. Oh my goodness. You really can't like feel 
really you are in the right place at this hotel. It's so beautiful, so amazing. Never seen before. Maybe it's a tent star. <laughs> <laughs> I am here today in the Democratic Republic of Congo, in the city of Goma. This place is called Raha Plaza. Raha Plaza. As you guys can hear, Raha Plaza. Raha is a Swahili name uh, meaning uh, pleasure. So it's like a pleasure plaza. <laughs> Man, this place is a beautiful. It's also a hotel where you can book your nights, you can sleep here. And it's also a place where you can buy your beers. You can just come here for, you know, for a day visit. And all you need to do is just buy your beverage and you can enjoy the breeze from the lake. Man, what I'm feeling right now is like, man, it's heaven. <laughs> this is heaven, you guys. I'm telling you, Goma is beautiful. DRC is beautiful. Africa is beautiful. In Goma, you will get yourself some very exotic juice, beautifully uh, brewed right here in Goma, locally, and it's 100% uh, Grenadilla juice. Hey, this place is the best place you ever visit right here in Africa, or should I say in the world, Raha Plaza. Raha Plaza is actually a resort, a mini resort kind of like where people just come to relax. If you wanna rest for a night, you wanna rest for a day, if you wanna rent a month, it's all here. At this hotel called Raha Plaza, you can book your day visit if you want a room. It's 10 US dollars just during the day. If you wanna rest, you can actually rest in this place and it's so amazing. 10 US dollars, that's about 150 rand. But also, if you can sleep, it's 30 US dollars. Somewhere around 450 per night. Man, this is really cheap. To enjoy, they do have a cafeteria, they do have a restaurant here. They also have rooms. So it's a kind of like a mini hotel. We are gonna go now and find out the rooms that they do have here. As I told you, it's a hotel. Africa can only stand up if you put together with the locals and uplift the motherland 
and for all the blacks all the blacks i want to say all the black people in the world uh, there is no place like home and home is africa home is uh, this motherland home is right here and the place that you never have to feel like you you know you don't belong the place that you you feel comfortable I've heard so many testimonies about black Americans who came in South Africa and uh, I mean who came right here in uh, uh, yeah in South Africa and here in the Congo or those who have seen my videos saying really Africa is so amazing Africa is the place that they really never have to think it could be like the way they see it. and it's just so amazing to see people in harmony people living together people hustling to you know make a living make a life and all that so uh, with your expertise and maybe your investment and your moral uh, advices also your hustle that you might have whichever it can be it could be a business in a form of business it could be in a form of you know you you just wanna farm you wanna invest anything in Africa you guys you're more than welcome so thank you so much thank you so much for watching this video so anything any questions just drop it in the comment section uh, and again I want to repeat that please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up like it and subscribe to the channel and I hope you guys are going to have the good one the best prepare for your stay right here in Africa and you will be blessed stay tuned <laughs>